Hello, all you beautiful people. Welcome to the internet. My name is Ryan, and I'll be your host for today's episode of Let's All Have Our Brains Destroyed by David Foster Wallace, aka my book review of his first novel, The Broom of the System. Let's just hop right in. No disclaimer, no nothing, because I've rewritten this book review about three times, and we have some things to talk about which I believe are really and truly important. All right, first off, the basics about the book. When David Foster Wallace graduated from Amherst in 1985, he turned in two honors theses. The first of those was a philosophical essay about fatalism, and the second was 500 or so drafted pages of the book which would become, two years later, The Broom of the System. Let's all take that necessary moment here where we consider what we had accomplished by the time that we graduated college. I had a YouTube channel with videos of me putting on my mom's makeup. The Broom of the System is a 467-page novel published in 1987 and which, you can tell in this edition, makes me want to get a tattoo. The basic story is this. Lenore Beadsman is a 24-year-old Ohioan, resident of Ohio, with a big problem. Out of all of the crazy things that have happened to her, like a complicated boyfriend situation, complicated family situation, great-grandmother who has escaped from the nursing home, and a pet who has become a religious celebrity, out of all of that, she has to decide. Is the world happening to her, or is she happening to the world? If that is the basic story, then the basic theme, God, I hate that word, is this. Am I, in the deep down, soulish parts of me, free to choose my own path? This is a book that is heavily philosophical and that it directly references and also obscurely embodies different philosophers and also philosophical ideas and questions. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I'm a firm believer that you can engage with this book without a lick of philosophical knowledge, but I will say this. The characters, when you encounter them, are hyperbolic or absurd. After all, this is hysterical realism. For example, and I'm laughing just thinking about this, there's a character who wants to eat everything around him and everyone around him because of how that would change his distinction between self and other. He would be more self and less other. Also, there's an oddly verbose pet cockatiel who says many words, all of which are misinterpreted by everyone but the reader which maybe, wink wink, says a little bit of something about how your language defines you. Okay, second is my personal reaction to the book. However, before the personal, we need to get some things out of the way so that we can do this review without feeling like there are a bunch of people watching over our shoulders. Let's take a moment and we'll situate this review in a context. A, we are not going to structure this review as a comparison to Infinite Jest. Yes, for better or for worse, everything David Foster Wallace has written exists in the long shadow of Infinite Jest, but also, every book deserves its day or its review in the sun. B, we are not going to trust David Foster Wallace's judgment on this book. Yes, he later commented on what he perceived to be mistakes in The Broom of the System, but no, we will not trust his judgment because, as a good friend of mine said, he's a biased reviewer. And also, we're smart readers who can come to our own conclusions. And finally, C, we are not going to act as if this is a first novel, but just simply a novel. And then, once we have done the good, hard, and generous work of reading this book as it best is, we will add that little asterisk back in. To be very clear, that thing that I just said, I am a big fan of doing that for all books in order to read well. Okay, Ryan, now let's get personal. For me personally, Broom of the System has a lot going for it. It's borderline maximalist, which is something that I love. It's exciting and fun and funny on every page with the way that it changes formats. There are sections which are only dialogue, there are transcripts, there's even journaling and story writing, so you never really know how this book is going to morph next. And with how it includes stories within stories. One of the characters works in publishing, and so when he comes home at the end of the day, he tells the stories that he's been reading. And perhaps above all else, Broom of the System seemed at first to be doing that thing which I'm starting to realize is incredibly important to me as a reader. It seemed to have at its center a deep, disturbing, no bullshit question about human existence. Seemed being the key word here. And this is where a lot of factors in the book all zero down on one tiny point of light. The, the tiny, simple question of whether or not the book does justice to the thing that it attempts. To be clear, I am an immense fan of this book. I would reread it tomorrow if my reading schedule would let me. What I'm about to say though are my honest opinions about where this book falls just short. There are two, maybe three times when this book, which is largely squarely facing these hard and disturbing questions of a character's freedom or human consciousness, when during that situation, the book marches forward waving a flag that says in big letters, I am smart slash clever enough to logic us out of this situation in a not quite fulfilling way that will still move the narrative forward. I'll say a teensy bit more about that at the end of this video. Of course, this is the book of a 24 year old. So this is where we add in that asterisk that says, first novel, 24 years old. Okay, third and last, should you read the book? Let's finally be real honest with ourselves for better or for worse, 
everything that David Foster Wallace ever wrote exists in the long celebrity status shadow of Infinite Jest. A good example of that is that I'm lucky enough to have a review of Infinite Jest that is doing pretty well on YouTube and getting lots of views, which mostly just means that like all of the strong feelings about this book that exist in the world end up in my comments section. You should go and take a look someday. It's kind of interesting. But so because of that, the question that is inevitably asked about the broom of the system is, would this book function as a good warm-up to David Foster Wallace in general or to Infinite Jest specifically? I resist this question with every ounce of my being, but that's not going to stop it from being asked. So I'll answer it. Yes, it's a less lengthy, sometimes more funny, definitely less difficult book than Infinite Jest, and it could potentially act as a good warm-up to David Foster Wallace's style of writing, despite no end notes. Hopefully I've just prevented that question from being asked in the comments. So let's get back to Broom and let's wrap up what we know. So here is the nitty gritty on the Broom of the System. This book is wicked entertaining, and even this early in his career, it's easy to find pleasure in David Foster Wallace's winding, circling style. Broom is ambitious in its subject matter and also in its scope, in the fact that it tries to tackle such a hard, big, complicated slice of human life. And about 95% of of the time it does that slice justice. It relies on the complexity of its characters to walk around a problem and shed new light. But at the end of the day or at the end of the novel you're left with this feeling, this little nagging sensation somewhere along your intestinal wall. In my humble personal opinion that sensation is there because this book introduces you to a very real dilemma and then finds the smartest instead of the truest way out. So should you read The Broom of the System? Yes. Should you accept the answers of anyone else, including the author, including the critics, including your friendly neighborhood booktuber, in regards to whether or not this book does justice to the experience? Nah. And that is really all that I've got for this book and for this video. Thanks for watching and for hanging out with me for a few minutes. I am working on a few other videos and ideas, but before you go, I have posted a question about Lolita and about what you guys want about Lolita down in the description. If you wanted to leave a comment about that, that would be cool. Alrighty, I will see you guys soon. And maybe sooner than you think. Best wishes! Hey, beautiful people of the internet, my name is Ryan. Happy Sunday. I am sick. So if my voice sounds either husky to you or sick, it's because I either went through puberty or am sick. In the book, although of course you end up becoming yourself, there are a few conversations where David Foster Wallace talks about what about Brim of the System he perceives to be a mistake. Specifically the ending, like the last five to ten pages, maybe even, wink wink, the very last lines of the book. I really don't want to do spoilers about the ending, but if there are enough of you that have read the book and or would be interested in talking about the ending, you should let me know in the comments because we could do a video or a subreddit or something. I'm interested if you are.